Hey everybody, Juanit Taco is here, let's play stuff. We're continuing playing on Beach of the Dark Descent. The last part we finished the introductory part, I explained quite a bit about the mechanic of the game, and we, we discovered the main plot of the game. We're playing Daniel, we drank some potion that gave us amnesia, hence the name, and for some reason we have to kill Alexander, and whenever we hear his name, it installs in us anger and the will to murder things, so we hate Alexander. Yes, the red goo. And the roaches. All the things that I love about Amnesia. The red goo and the roaches. So, we have to get in there. But if I remember correctly, it is not going to be as easy. Yeah, because... Tough and late. It can be torn by hands or tools. So we have to bring something else in order to remove it. So let's solve some puzzles and try not to die. Let me just take this out. We need the chemistry. 
Or what the fuck is going on there? Okay, those are, if I'm not mistaken, the memoirs of Alexander that have no significance to the game but to the density of the character itself. If you want to read all of this, be my guest, just pause it and read it. I ain't gonna do it because there's gonna be much reading in this game. But I actually have to see what is written there, so excuse me for a second. Actually, I should get back into having of checking all the drawers because in Soma they all seem to be empty and useless. Here you can actually find some good stuff for you, like ladanum or tinder boxes or the precious oil. The ever precious oil. What is this? 16th of May. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, 
the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. So, this was Daniel's diary. Catalog. Oh God. It's dark and scary. Daniel's, oh no, it's Wilhelm's contract to serve Daniel. May no man break the seal. Okay. Slight head. Oh, I think we can manage. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh no. Oh no. No, this is actually bad. Oh, rookie's mistake. Keeping your lantern out while reading stuff and nothing. Oh. Okay. Let's hope I can find some more oil, otherwise I'm screwed. Yes, I know, but what can I do? Okay, 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 I get it. I get it. Head is pounding, hands are shaking. No oil. Okay, how about this? Better now? Okay, let's do what has to be done. No tinderboxes left. Great. Just wonderful. 
Oh, a tinderbox. Thank God. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. All I'm searching now is for oil. I don't need anything else. Don't give me a key. Leave Alexander to live for another thousand years or whatever. I have oil. And that's what matters. This is all I need. Just this precious oil. This time, let's not waste it. Just jump! Oh, come on. Oh, okay. So, I have to search all this place for the key. The door was ripped from somewhere. I've been here! Why didn't you say something? Is that door always like that? No. Oh. I see it and I don't like it. I see it and I really don't like it. Okay. So what about farthest part of this? Oh no! Did I hear what I thought I heard? No! Oh, come on! Okay. Okay. I just gonna stay here. Mind my business. Oh god. Damn it. No. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Oh, it should have happened. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped Firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So, from what we know right now, Alexander was on this expedition. He was trapped and then he found this weird orb thingy, weird, weird relic that Robert himself. 
Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Actually, before we continue, I'm gonna stop it here and gonna keep recording right away. Thank you so much for watching. I was Monic Deco, and you guys, as always, are amazing. Thank you. See you really soon. Later. Once again. The music and the vibe is so. so beautiful.